just a pose. Soldiers trained to kill, to kill, man killing man. How humanistic are we in a declared war zone living inside the US of A? Are we to arm ourselves to guards against aggressors amidst the killings and drugs? What about the 1990 Civil Rights Act? This writer is just asking, contradictory. Baghdad boom, Baghdad on fire. Soldiers, 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 soldiers. UN Resolution 242678, 1990, January 15 deadline. Dr. King's birthday. Preoccupation with this Persian Gulf. Double standards. 12 in favor, two against, one abstain. What is the frame of reference at home and abroad? Man killing man in a gun culture. Man stop, think, analyze. See humanity lose its way, trapped in the possessive path of destruction and annihilation. How can we recapture human lessons in particular? Peace, world leaders. Bag that boom, bag that on fire. Bag that boom, bag that on fire. Our community level, we've been able to come together in an effort to analyze the situation in the Gulf. The Conference of Korean Unity is just one group which convened a forum recently to discuss the implications of Gulf War in general and to Caribbean and her people in particular. As Caribbean people and the people of Latin America, that as well, we have particularly concerned about the situation in the Middle East because it was last year that the civil action that came in place against Panama also had in 1983 similar action in Geneva. We must ask for the question, what does all of this mean? We are also aware of the fact that in spite of whatever contributions that we might have down here in the Middle East, that war is not a solution to it, in as much as there have been several wars since 1948 in Azerbaijan, and instead of taking the region close to peace, it has somehow finally even to the degree the flames of war. We talk with persons in our communities who are willing to share their thoughts and feelings on the war in the Persian Gulf. I think it's really one of the most unfortunate, tragic, and potentially far-reaching in terms of danger for the people of the world, kind of events that have happened for a long time. Um, it is, uh, is unfortunate because there, in my view, were, and still are several options and negotiations of, of a peaceful settlement that have not been explored in any serious and extended way. It's unfortunate also because the institution at the nations who is classically the most um, appropriate institution to conduct these negotiations and unfortunately has not been able to play that role in this situation. For a third un unfortunate uh, factor, which is that the United States has essentially preempted world opinion uh, instead of um, involving itself in addressing a full array of issues that afflict that region, have uh, focused instead on a single single act of aggression. And the invasion of Kuwait is an act of aggression. And use that single act of aggression to extend its, its military, project its military presence, extend its political presence in a region which is already very, very fragile in terms of peace and fraud with a lot of conflict. I believe, therefore, that um, what you're witnessing is a situation where might is right, where force is ruling the day, and where you know, better judgment and common sense is not being allowed to prevail because there is uh, apparently uh, an, an undue haste on the part of the United States to demonstrate that in spite of its economic and other difficulties, it has the power to protect itself globally. I am for the United States going over there. I'm not again. Because I was lying there when I look at TV, and I was joking, laughing, and there's no attack. If that's what you want to do. We really have to take a hard look at the, the, the foreign policy of the U.S. government. We have to look at the fact that the U.S. government really is, has a, a foreign policy that is very inconsistent. Whereas, on one hand, you, you have them accepting what Israel is doing to, to the Palestinians. Um, you have, on the other hand, they, they're also um, concerned about what Saddam is doing cool. So we, as a Caribbean people, really have to be careful. And um, uh, you have to, for instance, at Trinidad, we probably the only island in the Caribbean with oil, and um, the same thing could happen down there. So although Trinidad does not have the, the sort of oil reserve that coal has, um, the pattern would still follow us down there. There have been several instances where the United States come to the aid of other countries in effort to encourage democracy. What are some of the thoughts on U.S. interest in the Gulf region today? NATO is using the Iraq situation, the Persian Gulf crisis, as the first test case of post-Cold War order to employ the most sophisticated and most massive concentration of electronic warfare materials assembled any place in the world in history against the Iraqi to reduce them to powder. 
in order that this system may demonstrate that it can mobilize itself anytime, any place, and move around the world as a rapid deployment force based on the doctrine of invincible force to make sure that imperialism survives. We see it in the Caribbean as Patrick Hilton mission, Grenada, 1983, Panama, 1990, 1990. We also have seen that the United States is prepared to move militarily in the Western Hemisphere. In 1987, it de dispatched a deployment to Bolivia for drug interdiction. It has got a detachment of the Drug Enforcement Administration stationed in the highlands of Peru doing the same thing. It has basically militarized its border with Mexico to prevent the flow of so-called illegal immigrants coming into the United States. But it's also to make sure, with respect to Panama, not so much drug interdiction, but to make sure that the treaty signed to see the Panama Canal to Panama will not come into effect unless there is a regime in Panama that U.S. imperialism can dominate. And so it's a combination of economic and political you know, imperatives that in fact have historically and today in the case of Iraq continue to force and impel the United States into the role of being an aggressor as far as um, these other countries are concerned. I would, I would also